Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be focusing on the 7 key trends of spring summer 2018. But before we continue with the video, make sure that you are subscribed and notified so you don't miss out on any future fashion videos of mine. With that being said, here are 9 of my favourite and most prominent trends this season. With everything that's been happening around the world, from social issues to political issues, the fashion industry has decided to use its influence and power by spreading positive messages to its youth. Encouraging change, boosting equality and celebrating freedom, shades of cerulean blue, magenta, candy red, yellow and purple violet embrace runways of all designers this season. Many designers like Marc Jacobs, Pablo Garoon, Stella McCartney and Tom Ford chose to style colour with monochromaticism, which makes wearing colour a much more achievable look. Other designers like Carolina Herrera, Mani, Oscar de la Renta, Versace, Stella Jean and Calvin Klein chose to incorporate colour through pattern or colour clashing. French coats have made it on the runway almost every season since Thomas Burberry first introduced them in 1879. However, this time, designers took the opportunity of turning something old into something new. John Galliano's reputation for controversial talent was seen through the lens of Mason Margiela's collection this season. Using his exceptional abilities not only as a designer but also as a dressmaker, Galliano's reinvention of the classic trench coat was truly incredible. Feathers, geometric patterns, unusual silhouettes, the technique of layering and collaborating different fabrics were all the reason why Galliano delivered an exceptional collection. This season, Alexander McQueen's Sarah Burden was inspired by the healing power of nature as she visited the flower borders and gardens of the Great Dixter House in East Sussex, England. She demonstrated her admiration for nature by embroidering floral patterns into the trench coats and using the technique of patchwork to layer floral pattern fabrics across the outerwear pieces. Other designers like Loe, Max Mara, Victoria Beckham, Christian Dior, Celine, Prada, Tom Ford, Versace and Ellery had their own take on the classic trench by collaborating their signature silhouettes or fabrics with the original profile of the trench coat. The JT and Brinian look has come back to haunt us, but I can assure you that there is no need for panic. This season, designers like Oscar de la Renta and Carolina Herrera brought out another side of denim teaming it with an elegant silhouette for a more feminine kind of vibe. On the other hand, Dion Lee focused on sophisticated tailoring aiming for a more modern appeal. I have to say, with the exposed stitching contrasted against the desaturated denim finished with the clean tailoring, this has definitely flipped my dislike for the fabric. Virgil Abloh's success since his first collection in 2014 has continued to reign the streetwear scene in the ever-evolving world of fashion. Abloh dedicated this collection for the 20th anniversary of the late Princess Diana. As Diana was his source of inspiration, he incorporated the classic 90s light wash denim which is what the princess wore when she dressed casual. He also accessorized with pearls and blue diamonds to symbolize the princess's elegance. He designed suits as well as dresses that were inspired by the ones Diana wore often. I love this collection because he didn't go far from the off-white image. It was still recognisable as off-white but led with an elegant direction. Other designers who also took part in this trend are Y Project, Nina Ritchie, Public School, Versace, Alexander McQueen, Chanel, Christian Dior and Tom Ford. Patterns are one of the most dominant trends this season and there was one particular print that stood out the most stripes, which happens to be my personal favourite. Tori Birch is notorious for her colourful patterns that are reminiscent of the 1950s and 60s era. This collection was inspired by interior designer David Hicks. She used graphic prints that Hicks used for flooring, wall coverings and upholstery, but still maintained the iconic Tory Birch preppy bohemian image. Carolina Herrera, recognised for her effortless, elegant designs, chose a soft palette accompanied by what looks like flecks of paint and bold polka dots. This was certainly one of my favourite collections this season. I mean, look Look at those dresses. Herrera wanted to turn away from dressing according to occasion and instead promote optimism. She too wanted to make a powerful statement through her beautiful garments. This season, through Balenciaga, Demna Vesalia brought back red, green and yellow plaid into the fashion scene, accompanying it with stripes and sweaters tied around the shoulders. Vesalia wanted it to be less crystable and more Demna, which is evident as he presented an edgy and androgynous aesthetic. Karl Lagerfeld and Silvia Venturini Fendi took us back to the 90s, unapologetically slapping Fendi's monogram logo across their fur jackets and fur lined bags. Lagerfeld and Fendi also emphasized size on stripes, but not your conventional stripes. It was stripes in all different directions, including the direction of a triangle. Other designers include Victoria Beckham, Hermes, Stella Jean, Off-White, Loe, Givenchy, Miu Miu, Ellery, Stella McCartney, Chanel, and Marnie. 
In response to the rise of feminism in today's society, power suits and genderless fashion have come to exert the voice of women from all walks of life. Suits have this magical ability to make a woman feel as if they are if not better than equal to the male species. It can make a woman feel strong, ambitious and independent, all the characteristics we strive to possess. Almost every designer took part in this trend, and as you can probably guess, I'm absolutely for it. Celine's Phoebe Philo tailors her clothes to each individual client, drawing not only on their physical appearance, but also on their psyche. She channels feelings into her products. The inspiration behind this collection was from the early 80s, drawing on Claude Montana's infamous big shouldered suits and experimenting with trench coats and tailoring. Tom Ford's suits were inspired from his own menswear collection. He's designed a suit that is so recognisable from across the room that female clients have come in asking for menswear suits tailored to their own bodies. Tom Ford successfully recaptured his signature 90s glam look with deep V cuts, broad shoulders, bold colours, peak lapels, all made in several different fabrics including velvet. Max Mara's Ian Griffiths pulled Helmut Lang archives for his collection this season. Parallel cut trousers and a boyish tailored jacket brought suits back traditionally with a twist of prints and diverse fabrics. Other designers included Victoria Beckham, Chanel, Christian Dior, Hermes, Y Project, Givenchy, Prabal Garoon, MM6, Ellery, Oscar de la Renta, Jill Sander, Mark Jacobs, Off-White, Carolina Herrera and Versace. Going along with the whole powerful atmosphere, exaggerated proportions, particularly around the arms and shoulders, have made a comeback this season. As you may know, I live for shoulder pads and cocoon sleeves, so naturally I'm really excited to see this popular again. Almost like sculptural shapes, Ellery silhouettes are extraordinary. The Paris-based Australian designer's strong modern take on tailoring has a freedom which allows her to play with proportions and make tailoring fun. She has taken the masculinity craze and cultivated it into something truly exceptional. Marnie is no stranger to boldness. This season, Francesco Rizzo experimented with raw hems and most importantly, almost all outfits were proportioned larger than life and not too drawn in around the waistline, which I personally thought was a very unique approach to the trend. Other designers include Isabel Morant, Off-White, Carolina Herrera, Nina Ritchie, Stella McCartney, Prabal Garoon, Tom Ford, Versace, MM6, Fendi, Mason Margiela, Alexander McQueen, Y Project, Gucci, Marc Jacobs and Celine. I know I keep saying that every trend is my favourite, but I can't help it. This season was exhilarating and I truly felt that. In my humble opinion, an object of art is successful when the audience understands the message or when a type of feeling resonates with them. This trend has successfully shown how different channels of art intertwine towards a united purpose of sharing that feeling. Mucia Prada went for a geek chic yet brutalistic approach this season by using art infused prints on her garments and accessories. This collection was based on the idea of putting a stamp on a blank canvas and boy did she do that. To bring life to her vision of embracing strong women, her show was set among the work of influential female cartoonists and manga artists. I found it interesting that with a pencil in your hand you can tell your life. Coats, jackets and cropped pants were screen printed flat so that the creases were visible. A rough and ready analog process deliberately dating back to the time before digital printing came along to smooth out the human touch. The female artists who came together to collaborate with Mutia Prada are definitely worth acknowledging. Bridget Elva is widely known for her alternative figures of beauty. Think of anti-Barbie and political poetry. Giuliana Maldini portrays strong women destroying the patriarchy. Joelle Jones is recognised for her murderous 50s-esque women with blood splattered all over their pearls. Trina Robbins was the first female to draw for Wonder Woman comic. Emma Roy draws inspiration from architecture and she's also a fencer. Tarpal Millers created Miss Fury, the first female comic hero created by a woman. Natsume Ono is an emerging Japanese manga artist based in Milan. Fiona Staples is voted as a number one female comic book artist of all time. The overall vibe of the collection was reminiscent of the club and street style in London and New York during the 1980s era. MM6 didn't do a major art infusion in the collection. However, I found it pretty cool how they used the scribbles and jottings from members of MM6 all the way back in 1998, while balancing it out with clean and simple silhouettes. 
the clothes prioritise collage and construction. Junior Watanabe collaborated with Marimekko, a home furnishings, textiles and fashion company based in Finland. What I found really noteworthy was how Marimekko had a key role in the process of recognising fashion as an industrial art, making one of the most important contributions to the fashion industry in the 1960s. Marimekko's bold fabrics and bright simple design strongly influenced the late 20th century. Junior Watanabe comes from a place where block out the world feelings must have a sharp reality. This is why his collection looked back to a time and place which is Finland in the 1950s and 60s, when humanity was capable of creating a bright and happy design for living. And for that reason, I really love the creative process behind this collection. To mark the 20th anniversary of the late Gianni Versace, Donatella pulled archives and used key prints and pieces from 1991 to 1995 which is a period of Gianni's most iconic collections. She reinterpreted each of those print motifs in her blouses, square-shouldered blazers and dresses. What I really loved as well was that a thematic grouping was rendered in a full capsule collection, allowing diversity with the option of a uniform for potential clients. And of course, how can I overlook the iconic reunion of Gianni's supermodels which referenced his show in 1991. It was brilliant. Donatella did a really touching tribute.